Hi, welcome to my channel and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Today I bring a topic about Hurricane Fiona related insured losses depend on recovery and resilience. <coughs> EMPES expects insured losses from Hurricane Fiona in the countries hit hardest to date Puerto Rico and Dominican Republic to be influenced by the duration of businesses interruptions due to power losses but ultimately manageable for affected careers. According to best commentary, Hurricane Fiona insured losses depend on recovery and resilience. The top 10 insurers in Puerto Rico account for more than 90% of the market share for the auto, fire, and allied lines. Homeowners, farm owners, and commercial multi-peril of property lines. Two of these groups are extremely well diversified, multinational insured, but six of those top 10 companies are insured with 100% of their exposure connected concentrated in Puerto Rico, representing approximately 43% of the market share for the aforementioned lines of coverage most at risk of sizable claim activity. It could take some time for claims adjusters in Puerto Rico to assess and estimate damages, said David Blades. As he is an associate director, industry research and analytics. However, since the hurricanes Maria in 2017, insurance companies on the island have taken significant action to manage their risk profiles, better by tightening the underwriting guidelines, also sharpening risk management techniques, improving pricing, and also getting significant rate insurers and then furthermore most of the losses will be flood related and not covered by the standard homeowners policy those who will be losses would fall under the national flood insurance and of course it is national flood insurance program so it is so the Dominican Republic experienced widespread and also flooding and property damage with popular tourist destination left without electricity. However, a large part of the insurance portfolio is concentrated near Santo Domingo, the countries of the capital with less distribution in the regions where a greater impact from the hurricane is expected. So it is so about the American, the mid-American problem which is in Puerto Rico, which is a problem that about electricity and they need an insurance that focus on them and also focus for the destination place that need um, electricity and they didn't and they and they did not do an insurance or making insurance things because they still um, the government still not or still abandoning that uh, destination place as we know that Puerto Rico is very exotic place in America and I think it's very very um, uh, this honest, honestly, this is so rare things if a destination place doesn't have an insurance because um, we don't know what will happen in the um, destination place. Maybe one of the, um, you know, playground broken or maybe um, the staff get some uh, problem with their jobs or maybe problems with the things that around them i think it's important for the um, destination place to have an insurance it is to maintain 
and helping them to um, obtain their quality so thank you for watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe hi welcome to my channel and please don't forget to like comment and subscribe today i'll make a topic about why insurance announces 315 million dollar series d round of funding <clears throat> small businesses focused insure tech rises sector's largest financing round of year Pi Insurance or Pi, a leading tech enabled provider of workers' compensation insurance to small businesses, today announced it raised a $315 million series D round of funding. The round was led by Center Bridge Partners and Alliance X, the, the digital investment arm of Alliance Group. White Mountains Insurance Group also joined as a new investor and previous investor Galatin Point Capital, Gray Craft, and Accru Capital, and others also participated in the round. Today's Series D fund rise more than doubled by its total capital rise to over $615 million and is the largest run of financing for any US-based PNC InsurTech company in 2022. Today fundraise from Pi is the largest round of financing for any US-based PNC InsurTech company in 2022. This round of financing is monumental in more ways than one said John Swigart, CEO founder and CEO of Pi. It's no secret that growth stage startups and specifically insert tax are facing a challenging fundraising environment. However, Pi's ability to grow rapidly while still focusing on delivering strong units and also strong unit economics and sustainable loss ratios is proving to be a key differentiator pi is disrupting the highly fragmented small businesses and also small business commercial insurance market through our proprietary technology which which is more accurately priced and underwriters insurance risks we believe that the insurtech 2.0 phase of this industry-wide transformation will be built by companies like pi that leverage their technology to do the insurance better and deliver superior traditional insurance metrics along with a delightful customer and of course it is customers experience the next is pi's demonstrated ability to grow across multiple distribution channels at the impressive loss ratios truly distinguishes them within the insurtech space said Eric Hoffman. He is a managing director at the Center Bridge Partners. He stated that we are attracted to technology enablement in the small commercial insurance and of course it is small insurance market and Center Bridge is excited to partner with Pi on its journey to transform the industry. Since our founding in 2017, Pi's mission has been to empower small businesses to thrive by making commercial insurance affordable and also as easy as Pi, Swigart continued. This fundraise allows us to strategically 
expand in way that serves the loss or the long-term interest of our customers and partners, investors, and pioneers. Pi has an exciting future ahead and this capital allows us to stay true to our values, execute it, our vision, and build a lasting and sustainable businesses. So thank you for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.